Joining us this morning is Pentagon spokesman Jeff Morrell. Good to have you with us this morning, sir. Uh, do you know at this? Erica. Do you know at this point who's responsible for this leak? We do not. We have a very robust investigation that's underway to try to determine who's responsible for breaking the law here and leaking this classified information that could endanger the lives of our forces and imperil our nation's security. But at this point, we're in the early stages of that. Our focus really, frankly, right now is to try to determine if there is anything in these 90,000 pages of documents that could indeed endanger our forces. We got a team doing that round the clock. This mm -hmm. was dumped on us like it was dumped on you all Sunday night. It would have been nice had this organization had the decency to come to us and work with us to try to figure out if there's anything in here that could endanger our forces, and but we were not given that luxury. And there is more to come, as we've been told, some 15,000 additional documents. How many people have access to this type of information? Yeah, we're not going to get into sort of the, 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 the scope of um, what was involved here in terms of the databases that may have been breached. Suffice it to say, so is it this a large, information but is, is it a classified large for a reason, Erica. This involves secrets that should not be disseminated into the public domain and could potentially endanger our operations and our forces in Afghanistan. There is understandably uh, some concern, as you, as you have mentioned a couple of times here, over the troops on the ground and how this could affect them. There's also some concern as to going forward about all the relationships that are there in the region. President Karzai coming out with this response, quote, the recent documents leaked out to the media clearly support and verify that success over terrorism does not come with fighting in Afghan villages, but by targeting its sanctuaries and financial and ideological sources across the borders. It seems to allude to Pakistan and some support to the Taliban there. Is there any way to be sure that the billions of dollars in USA being sent to Pakistan is not being used to support terrorists? Well, Erica, I think that th this shows that this information, though new and unprecedented in the scope and the sheer size of this leak, the information itself, the substance, the content of these documents is not particularly new or illuminating. It points to issues that we've identified as being problem areas for months, if not years. The under-resourcing of this conflict, the president has now tripled our number of forces there. Uh, the fact that civilian casualties has been a problem which we've been trying to deal with. U.S. caused civilian casualties down by a third this year. Taliban casualties, uh, civilian casualties is nearly doubled this year and the and the Pakistani partnership that is so vital to our success in Afghanistan is one that has been trending in the right direction for months if not a couple of years now so the most recent of these documents Erica is uh, at least six months old by by now and that is clearly out of step with where this relationship mm -hmm. is and has been heading for some time now so you're saying it's trending obviously to a better place but is there again is there any way to know whether or not US money being sent to Pakistan as aid money is in fact supported terrorists who could be endangering U.S. troops. Well, we have as many controls as we can have on our aid to Pakistan. The Kerry Luger uh, Berman Amendment provides $1.5 billion a year over the next five years. And But remember, this is a sovereign country who we are partnering with in the war on terror. We are working with them together to go after the terrorists in their midst who not only threaten their government and our forces in Afghanistan, but our well-being here stateside as well as mm -hmm. our allies around the world. Jeff Morrell joining us from the Pentagon this morning. Thanks for your time. My pleasure.